everyone. This is your host, Brittany, and thank you for joining me on this week's episode of PCAT and Pre-Pharmacy Podcast, where we talk about everything pharmacy from the pre-pharmacy journey to life after pharmacy school. This week, we have a special guest who will be going into her third year of pharmacy school this fall. As all of our guests have unique pathways to pharmacy school, our guest will be talking a little bit more on how she actually started pharmacy school her last year of undergrad. I know that might sound a little confusing, so I'll just let the guests explain it, so make sure to stay tuned for the show. But before we get started with the interview, I just want to mention uh, to make sure that you check out crackthepcat.com for computer-based PCAT practice exams, comprehensive score reports, and video explanations. They also have a scholarship with a variety of awards uh, just for pre-pharmacy students. So make sure to check out crackthepcat.com for all of your study materials and also scholarship details. The deadline for the scholarship is August 30th, 2020. Now let's get started with the show. All right, Rachel, thank you for joining us. Can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, of course. Uh, First of all, thanks so much for having me on your podcast today. Um, I've never done anything like this, so bear with me. Um, But my name is Rachel Murray. I'm now a third-year pharmacy student in the state of Arkansas, and I've created an online blog and Instagram page. It's called Petite Farm Geek, and I use that to just talk about my experiences as a pharmacy student And I also like to share some tips and advice for pre-pharmacy students about things like studying and like other struggles of pharmacy school. Thank you so much. And I will definitely be leaving your information in the description box. So if anybody wants to connect with her, just check the description box for her information. Um, Can you also tell like what made you interested in pharmacy? So I always grew up loving science and medicine. Um, My mom's a nurse, so I was always surrounded by medicine in that way. Um, I always knew that I wanted to be some kind of doctor, but I didn't really want to be in school for decades of my life. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like the idea of being in like a surgical role, and I wanted a job that was more flexible to fit my future goals, like having a family and being able to travel a lot. Um, So I found that pharmacy was the perfect profession to be in. Um, It's unique in a way that it's always changing. It's very flexible. And I'm still surrounded by science and medicine. Um, It's unique in the way that it's forever changing. And that's really what attracted me is that um, there are so many different career opportunities with just pharmacy that you can choose from. So it was something that I felt comfortable where if I chose like retail to work for a couple of years, I knew that I could always change my mind and try something different and it's just forever changing and there's so many different opportunities from what I've learned in pharmacy school. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And that's something that I like to um, you know, like emphasize on this platform because like once I only thought that it was retail and it kind of spared me away from the profession initially. But um I work as a tech and being able to do different positions um as a technician, it opened my eyes as well. So thank you for sharing that. Uh, Can you please tell us like a little bit about your pharmacy school journey, uh, the type of program you were enrolled in and things like that? Yeah, of course. Um, So by senior year of high school, that's when I knew that I wanted to do pharmacy. Um, So I had already chosen my major when applying to college. Um, I moved from the state of Texas to start undergrad in the state of Arkansas. Um, And I started at a small private Christian university for undergrad. And I did not do a full four years of undergrad, which is kind of unique because a lot of people think that you have to get a major or like a bachelor's degree before you start pharmacy school. But I was actually still able to get my bachelor's degree, and I only did three years of undergrad. Um, my school offered what what's called a three plus one program. So I was able to do only three years of undergrad, get all of my pre-pharmacy prereqs, And then I started pharmacy school. And after my first year of pharmacy school, I was able to walk the stage and get my bachelor's degree from my undergrad university. So I I really felt like three years was the perfect amount of time. Um, I was still able to have an awesome college experience, but it was still manageable to 
um, with my classes, because I know some people do two years undergrad. And for me, I don't think that would be manageable having to take all of those credit hours at once and in the summer. But I felt like three years was perfect. And I still had that bachelor's degree um, as, as sort of like a backup plan if I decided that pharmacy wasn't for me. Now, uh, was this program something that, like, how did you find out about the three plus one program? So when I um, applied for undergrad, they told me the different like paths I could take. And you can either do two years, which would be taking a lot of classes at once, including summer classes. And then they told me about the three plus one program, which is three years, or I could do the four years and then pharmacy school. But I'm not sure if this is something that other um, undergrad schools offer, but this was something that my school offered and it was just, it seemed like the perfect path to take. And it really was. Good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I'm actually working on a project regarding like the different programs that um, like pharmacy schools may offer specifically like for pre-farm or just how to get into their program in general. So thank you so much for um, explaining that to us. Now, do you have any idea about your your third year now, um, any idea of like what you want to do after graduation? So I'm still kind of figuring out what path of pharmacy I want to take. Um, But as far as like rotation, so I get married next summer, which is really exciting. Right before my, uh, thank you right before my P4 rotation start. So I'm planning on moving um, to a small town and I'm going to try to get all of my P4 rotations in that area. Um, What you'll find out in pharmacy school is that P4 rotations are very good opportunities for jobs. So you want to treat each and every rotation like a mini job interview for a month, you know? Um, So I'm really excited to move out of the city into a small, into a small town. Um, my ultimate dream would be to work at a small town pharmacy, possibly um, own a small town pharma- pharmacy. I have some interest in pharmacy ownership. Um, but also, like I just last month, I had my hospital rotation and I loved that being able to use more clinical knowledge. So, really, I love all aspects of pharmacy. Um, so, I can, haven't really found my path quite yet. But um, I think that by keeping my my mind open and by gaining different experiences while I'm still a student, um, I should be able to find a job post grad. And kind of like I said earlier, you can always change your mind, and that's just another amazing thing about pharmacy. Yeah. Now, would you do you have any advice for like students like me that will be starting pharmacy school in the fall, or just um, pre pharmacy students in general that? A, if somebody would have told you this before <laughs> you started pharmacy school, it would have been much easier. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I do have lots of blog posts too, with certain um, tips and tricks for pharmacy school. Um, one of the biggest uh, things of advice that I would give is kind of, like I said earlier, just keep your mind open. Um, don't start pharmacy school, like totally set on retail or totally set on hospital Um, You'll learn in pharmacy school that you can do so many different things with your PharmD. Um, So just use your time as a student to gain a variety of different pharmacy practice experiences. Um, Another thing that I've done um, throughout pharmacy school is I've done a lot of stuff with PCCA, which is a compounding pharmacy organization. And so they offer different um, classes and online seminars that you can attend and you can learn more about compounding experience. Um, Another thing, like I said earlier, pharmacy ownership. Um, I've taken, uh, picked different electives that are more about pharmacy ownership. You can also do, you know, a dual MBA if you're really into business. I, I have not done that, but I'm just trying to pick more electives to keep my mind open and just learn about different experiences. So um, another thing that I talk about on my blog as far as advice for P1s is to just um, start out strong is kind of what I say. So from the get-go, you want to just work as hard as you can. And you'll thank yourself come finals week when when you've lost motivation and things get really hard towards the end of the year. 
Um, P1 year is going to be a really big change from undergrad. So you'll have to learn how you study best. Um, It may be different than your peers. And that's one thing that I um, learned P1 year is that um, everybody learns different, but you really just have to find out what works best for you. Um, You may learn by like writing things over and over. You may learn by re-listening to the lectures or by using flashcards, or you may want to try to find like a study group. Um, But just trying out different things and seeing what works for you Um, That's just one of the biggest uh, tips that I have for P1s. Um, Don't let others influence how you learn. See what works for you and stick with that. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And I'll definitely, again, like link all your information in the description box. So if you guys want to uh, check out her blog and her Instagram and things, check the description box below. Um, Do you have anything else you'd like to leave us with? That's all the questions I have. All right. Well, thanks for having me today. Um, again, my Instagram handle is at uh, Petite Farm Geek. That's P E T I T E P H A R M G E E K, Petite Farm Geek. Um, I also have a website where I post my larger blog posts, and it's a WordPress. So it's just the Petite Geek um, with two Ks dot WordPress dot com. And that's in um, my bio, my Instagram bio as well. Um, If you want to keep up with the rest of my journey throughout pharmacy school, just give me a follow and um, you can shoot me a message anytime and I'd be happy to get back to you. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, Brittany. I want to thank Rachel again for being a guest on the show. As mentioned before, I will leave all of her contact information on her website and blog and everything down in the description box. So make sure to check that out. Also, I will be leaving my contact information on how you can submit uh, episode ideas or if you would like to be a guest on the show. Um, I'm always happy to have you or maybe if you just want to say hi. So make sure to check the description for all of those details. Uh, Also, please remember to check out crackthepcat.com for that scholarship details and for any of your PCAT study needs. I'll talk to you guys next time.